do not be tempted to use trigonometry we are told not to use it at all yes i know that assuming we are to use trig we will get the solution to this in less than one minute okay welcome back to my channel now let's discuss how to do this without the use of trigonometry okay what i mean by trig is x is the opposite of this angle and two is the hypotenuse if we were asked to use trig it should have been sine 20 sine 18 is equal to x divided by 2. now if we do cross multiplication x will be equal to 2 sine 18 which will give us 0 points 0 0.62 something like that all right now we are asked not to use trick so where do we go from here what we'll do is this let us duplicate this triangle okay let's draw another triangle congruent triangle so um just manage my this is not drawn to scale so we are assuming that this triangle and this triangle are congruent and if they are that means this place is 18 degrees as well this place is 90 degrees as well now let us first find this place okay this particular angle here to get that is very easy the sum of angle in a triangle is 180 so if we call this angle a it means that a plus 90 plus 18 is equal to 180 okay a plus 108 is equal to 180 so a will be equal to 180 minus 108 which will be 72 okay so that means that the triangle we have here is 72 all right and that simply means that the angle we have here as well is 72 degrees all right like i said we are trying to find x without the use of a calculator because this is the duplicate of this that means this side is also x now if you look at this particular drawing now if we decide to drop a perpendicular bisector of 72 okay this angle 72 if we decide to duplicate it to drop a perpendicular bisector of it let's assume this is it okay so it means that we now have 36 and 36 right all right now let us draw out this angle let's call this a b c and this place t now let us draw triangle a b t let us draw it out if we do that we have i'm going to minimize it because i don't want to let's assume this is it okay now this is 72 degrees this is 36 degrees this is a b T. okay remember that we bisect this so this is 36 degrees now this particular angle can be gotten if we subtract the sum of this and this from 180 so if we call this angle y y plus 36 plus 72 will be equal to 180 so y plus now this will give us 108 is equal to 180 so you can see that y just like we got here y will be equal to 72 as well right so we write 72 here now remember that from here to here from a to b is 2x x plus x so this side is 2x and if you look at this triangle you can see that the base angles are equal meaning that the two sides are equal being that it is a um it is an isosceles triangle therefore this side should be 2x as well all right now let's draw out the remaining part of this triangle that is triangle a t c okay so we have triangle a t c this is a this is t and this is c okay first of all angle c is 18 plus 18 which will give us 36 so we have angle 36 here 
and remember that this is angle 36 as well so we have 36 as well okay this side is 2 but remember that we have found this side 80 okay 80 is 2x so we have 2x here if you look at this triangle you notice that this is also an isosceles triangle the base angles are equal so these two angles are the base so it means that the sides are equal as well so if this is 2x then this side is also 2x so permit me to write tc to be equal to 2x okay now let us look at this triangle now this the one that we have completed everything so i'm going to clean this dotted line and replace 36 plus 36 is 72 so i'll write my 72 72 now this line okay x plus x is 2x so i'll write my 2x permit me to also clean the middle if i do that i will have 18 plus 18 is 36 right okay so we have here to be 36 all right now if you look at this if this place is 2x right so it means that this remaining part of this triangle bt is what look at this triangle we have 72 here and we have 72 here now that means that this triangle is also an isosceles triangle of base 72 and 72 so these two sides should be equal so it means that if AC is equal to 2, then BC is also equal to 2. All right? Now, if BC is equal to 2, remember that we have BT here. From here to here is BT. So BT should be 2 minus 2X. And this is our BT. Okay? BT is 2 minus 2X. 2 minus 2X. So that is all I need from here. All right. So this place is two. I hope I didn't confuse you. Yes, I believe so. So what am I trying to do? I'm now going to compare this particular triangle and the first triangle. Okay? Because the two triangles are similar. Let us check. You can see 7272. You can see 7272. Okay? You can see this 36 and this is 36. You can see 2x, you can see 2x. So these two triangles are similar triangle. And one thing about similar triangle is that the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal. The ratio of the corresponding sides are equal. So if I decide to start with the big one, so if I say 2x divided by 2, so I have 2x divided by 2. It should be equal to 2x is for what? The base 72 and 72. Now, that means we are talking about what? 2 minus 2x to correspond to 2x, right? Because this is our own base 72, 72 as well. So we have 2 minus 2x divided by now 2 for here is BC at side 72 and 36 and this is our own 72 and 36 which correspond to 2x. So we have 2x. All right? So if we cross multiply, we have 2 brackets. 2 minus 2x is equal to 2x multiplied by 2x. Okay? So 2 times 2, we give us 4. We have 4. Or let's write it here. 2 times minus 2x, we give us minus 4x is equal to 2x times 2x will give us 4x squared. Let us divide both sides by 4 in order to do or to simplify this. If we do that, we have 1 minus x is equal to x squared. Now, we have a quadratic equation to solve, meaning that we are going to get two values for our x, but we all know that we cannot have two values for our x. So watch to the end and see how we got how we selected the right answer okay so let's arrange this well first as a quadratic equation this x squared comes first so we have x squared then minus x we cross to become plus x and plus one we cross to become minus one is equal to zero okay 
Now we are going to solve this using the quadratic equation formula. Let me to clean everything. We no longer need the diagram. We don't need the diagram anymore. Okay? So let's have enough space to solve our equation. Please, if you have another method that we can use to derive the answer faster, let me know. That is not trigonometry. Okay? All right. So using the quadratic equation formula, x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. So x is uh, a is equal to quotient of x squared 1, b is equal to quotient of x1, <coughs> excuse me, c is our constant minus 1, okay? So x is minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 squared minus 4 multiplied by a is 1 and c is 1 as well. C is minus 1, sorry. Everything divided by 2. So we have x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of minus 1 squared is 1, minus minus is plus, and we have 4 times 1 as 4, divided by 2. This is an interesting one, right? <laughs> okay. So we have x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So that means that we have two values of our x. x is equal to minus 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. x is also equal to minus 1 minus root 5 divided by 2. Now, the main thing here is, because we are talking about length, our length can never be negative, right? There is nothing like a negative length. And this is going to give us a negative answer. So it simply means that the only value we have for our x is this. And if you type this, you are going to still get the same result we got when we used the trigonometry to solve it. Thanks so much for watching. See you in my next video.